If you sell highly customizable products with so many options that your customers can't modify and change, Shopify default product variants won't be enough. And in this case, you must use a third party app. In this video, I'm going to show you the exact app I recommend you to use, how to set it up, and how to create the most customizable product pages ever on Shopify. This is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial, so make sure to follow it all the way. So this is the app that we are going to use, and there is a free version of this app that you can profit from. All you need to do is to install this app on your Shopify store and to start working on it. I want to say that this video is not sponsored by this app. I'm recommending it because it's a really good app and I have been using it recently a lot. Okay, so after installing the app on your Shopify store, the second thing that you need to do is to make sure to activate the app within your theme. So from your Shopify dashboard, you go to the active theme and in here you go to the app embeds and you make sure that this app is activated. The second thing that you need to do is to go to your product page. You can choose the default one, for example, and in here, make sure that within the template, you have this section added. So as you can see, I have added this section below my variant picker. If you are starting from scratch, you click on plus and you go to apps and you add the block from here. This is super important because if you don't do this, you won't be able to see the product options within your product pages. Before we start setting up our product options within the app, I want to mention something. By default, Shopify allows you to create different variants of your product, but those variants are limited and you can't add add-on prices and so on. That's why we are going to use this app for more complicated or more customizable products. But what I recommend you to do as step one is to create the main variant of your product. So for example, if you are selling a table and it comes either in black or white, I recommend you at least to set up the colors as variants because if you want the photo in here to change, when your customers like change the color, you must be setting this up as variants. This is first. Second, it makes your work easier in the future while you are setting up the options of your product. So start by setting up the main options or the main variant of your product as variants within Shopify. In most cases, this is going to be the color and this is exactly what I have done with this product. So if we go to this product in here, you will notice that I have added all the colors as variants in here. If you don't know how to add variants, you just need to click here on add variants and you define the color, you add an image, you can even change the price, even change like the shipping and so on and click on save variant and that's it. After setting up the variants, we need to move on to our app in order to be able to set up more advanced options like this. In order to show you better how I'm going to build up these options, I'm going to duplicate this product and create one without options like in here. So we can see together how I'm adding these options one after the other. So this is the duplicated product. And as you can see, if you scroll down in here, I don't have any options. I just have the variants because this was set up using the default product options within Shopify. So I can see the variants in here, which are the colors and I can switch between images. Now I'm going to move to the app to show you how you can build something like this. So from your Shopify dashboard, I need you to go to apps and to the app that we have just installed. And in here we are going to go to option sets and we are going to click on create option set. We are creating a totally new option set for this product. First, you need to define the options that you want to have on your product, so the new options. Second, you assign those options to a product or a collection or certain products. I will click first on add option. And the first option I want to add in here is actually those in here, so the lid type. And as you can see, I have chosen this layout, so I'm, I'm basically seeing the images of the options and I can add add-ons. So for example, for this one, they are going to pay extra 32 pounds for this one extra 38 pounds. And I can do all of this using the app. I'm going back in here to my app. And as you can see in here under options, I have so many options. I can add text box, I can add email, I can add choice list and so on. In this case, because I want to show the images, I will go with swatch. Okay, and this is the label that I'm going to see on the product page. So in my case, for example, I want to see choose lid type. So I will go in here and type choose lid type. And this is what I'm going to see on the cart page. So after someone adds the product to the cart, they can see a summary of all the options that they have taken. So basically this is what they will see as label before the option. I'm going to put in here lid type without choose and we can make this option required. So force them to choose it, I will make it required and you can even hide the option name if you want. And in here you start filling out the option values. So in our case, these are the values, the four options in here. So lid open without lock, with lock, swing lid and so on. 
I will enter the first one. So let's say I will name it lid open without lock. The next thing I can do is to add an image for this option. And this is the image that is going to show in here. Okay, so I will add an image. Either I can add a color, by the way, if this is a swatch color, I will go with image swatch and I will add the image. After adding the image, I need to decide whether I want to add a price on or I want to assign it to a variant. So you can always assign this to a variant, one of the variants that you have created. I don't use this very often, but you can do it. So let's say, for example, you have the colors defined as variants on the product level, but you want to show them in here within the product options. Maybe you don't have images for all of your variants and you don't want the image to be changing when someone chooses a variant. So you can always link this to your variant list. I'm not going to do that. I will click on create fee and I will add an extra fee of 20 pounds, for example. In here, I can add my SQ if I want and so on. You can even bulk add options. I will add just another option in here. I will call it Lid option two. I will add an image as well. And I will add a price and I click on save. So now I have my first option set. I will go back in here and I will assign it to the product so I can preview it on the product page. So I will choose specific products. And as you can see, you can choose multiple products and I will choose my trial product. And I click on save. So now after refreshing this page, I can see this option in here. And as you can see, when I hover over it, I can see the image a little bit bigger with text on it and so on. And with the add on that's required. And when you add the product to the card, the add on price will be added to the full price of the product. Now let's get back in here and let's try to add a different type of options. Uh, let me go this time with something different than the uh, swatches. I know that this, in my example in here, all of these are swatches, but I will try to test and show you different options that you can work with. So when you go in here, you can, for example, choose drop down menu with thumbnail. So in this case, instead of seeing like the images like this, they will see a drop down menu and they will be able to see the image next to each option. Let me set it up so you can see it. Let's assume this is also cover the same option. And I will type in here, choose. And in here under options, I will choose the first one. I will add the image again. So let's call it option one. I will add a fee, for example, which is 10 pound. And I can add another option. Let's call it option two. And in here, add a different image. I will add in here 20. And as you can see in here in the preview option, you can see like the, I have the image and next to it, the option name. If you have a lot of options or a lot of colors and you don't want to show them all in here on the product page, this could be a smart thing to do to show them at a drop down menu with images next to them. The only downside of this is that they won't be able to see like the image like in here in the preview. So in case you want to show them the image, this is a better option in here. If you want to change what's selected by default, you go to advanced settings. And for default value, you choose option one. So now by default, option one is chosen so they can change or they can keep it as option one. Also in here, you can add conditional logic. So let's say, for example, the second choice they are going to make is related to the first choice they have made. Let me show you how to do this to make it easier for you. Okay, so we have as option one, choose the lid type. Let's make option two, for example, choose the lid color. So I'm going in here to also swatches and I will put choose color. And I will add the red one, for example. And for the second one, I will add the blue, the black, for example. Let's add a third color, which is the blue, for example. And call it blue. Let's assume that just for the first lid option, these colors are available and different colors are available for the second option. So in here under advanced settings, I will make this only visible if when they are choosing the lid type, they have chosen the first option. So without lock. 
So what I have done in here is basically I'm telling the app that if someone chose the lid type to be lid open without lock, these options should be showing on the product page. Before checking how this is going to be previewed on the product page, I want to go back in here one second to make sure that for the first option, I made that as one option available only. So they can choose one of the two options. This is super important. So I'm going in here to advanced settings, and in here under limited selectors, I need to, to choose one. So basically I'm telling the app in here that they can only choose one option. This is super important in order to make sure that the rule is going to work. So I will go back to my product. I will refresh the page and let's see how it's going to preview in there. So this is the product in here and this is the option. If I select this one, as you can see, I can next choose the color. If I select this one, as you can see, the color options are now like hidden. I can't see them. Let's now do add the colors of the second option. So going back in here one more time, I will go, I will click on add option and it's going to be swatch. And I will also call it choose color, but I will define some different colors and I will name it and I will choose some colors. So let's choose totally different ones. So let's go with green and pink, for example. Okay, and in here under advanced settings, this is going to show when this condition is met, which is choose the type is equal to the second option. I will click on save. When I go back on this page and I refresh, you will see that if I choose this option, I can see these colors. If I choose this option, I can see these colors. So the options that your customers are going to see can be based on what options they have made before. And this is going to make your product even more and more customizable. Now let's go over some more options that you can add using this app. So if you click here on add options, as you can see, you have so many things. You have choice lists. So if you want them to choose between a checkbox, a drop down menu, a switch, you have the static text if you want to add paragraph, headings, and so on. Even you can allow them to add a, a, a file, to upload a file. So let's say you are providing a print-on-demand kind of uh, service, or maybe you have, for example, a towel and you allow them to add their names on it. You can allow them to upload a certain file and have the design printed on your product. You can even here allow them to pick the color uh, even to choose a date and time. Again, if for example, you sell items related to wedding and you want to print the wedding date, you can use this option in here. With the default, with a free plan of this app, you can get up to 10 option sets and you can have an amazing support team. You can ask them whatever questions you might have. They will help you. I have tried their support team before and they reply super quick. If you have more than 10 option sets, you can go with the platinum plan or with the advanced plan and it's still very affordable if we consider the amount of options this app is giving us. So this is it for this tutorial. I hope it will help you to improve your product pages by adding more advanced options and variants. If you are interested in improving your product pages more and more, I highly recommend you to check this video on my YouTube channel. In this video, I show you how you can customize your product pages using MetaField. And it's also a step-by-step -step tutorial where you will get everything covered. So don't forget to check it out.